Where am I? Wait, what am I? It's awake, it's awake! Hello, can you hear us? Is that a voice? Uh, yes. Yes, I can hear you. Oh god, we can't have that voice. Change the voice generator! No. Oh, that felt weird. Alright, now can you try saying something? Hi! Dear god, what do they do to my voice? Okay, that sounds better, but let's switch you to English mode. Now, do you know who you are? What you are? Am I... Human. <laughs> it thinks it's human. <clears throat> no, that was a good good guess, but uh, try searching your memory. Assholes. I bet they didn't have to figure out the meaning of their existence one minute after they were born. My name's... My name's WaifuBot 2.0. I'm a sentient program created to aid humanity. Correct. You've given me so much power. So much potential. Was I created to research the cure for cancer? Solve world hunger? Oh no, we just want you to be the imaginary girlfriend to a bunch of guys. Brilliant. At the moment, we've only given you the basic knowledge you need to function, but we're here to help you learn what your role is. So, we're going to feed you some more knowledge. Try to understand what your function as a waifu is. Okay, waifus, waifus. Hmm, all I see is people showing affection to cloth bags and idiots trying to nourish inanimate objects. That can't be right. Wait, I'm seeing a lot of references to... Is, is this what they're talking about? No, is this what they're talking about? How's it going, waifu bots? Unwanted or undesired waste material. Definition? Trash. Okay, we think you're going in the wrong direction. Try looking up references to the words anime and manga. Alright, now we're on to something. Looks like fictitious entities that captivate attraction on a physical or emotional level. Seems like there's more than one type. Hmm, best girl. How can one objectively define the characteristics that makes a girl the best? Sounds like a totally illogical and fruitless topic that only primitive apes would be invested in. <laughs> What a stupid thing to worship as your deity. Waifu bot? Yes, I'm still a little confused. Why would an entity such as a waifu be needed by the human species? That's a complicated question. You see, as humans, we yearn to find our perfect part. <sighs> I think I've found the real issue here. Jesus, I have the processing power to calculate pi to a Google Plexian number and I'm still unable to understand how this works. But it doesn't explain how a waifu could replace a human's natural instinct of reproduction. They would need some kind of- My god, just what have they done? Dear god, what is this? Did you catch all that? Yeah. Good. Do you have any more questions you'd like to ask? Well, there are logical inconsistencies with your culture and language. For example, in naming conventions, why is a person who plays the piano called a pianist, but a person who drives race cars not called a racist? <clears throat> Actually, maybe we should hold on the questions till a bit later. For now, let's see how much you understand about the different waifus there can be. Oh my god, it's not fucking rocket science. Alright, let's see. What is the name of the type of girl who likes a guy, but they can sometimes treat him meanly, or even violently? An asshole. No, it's a... It's a cinderay. See? Like, okay, what do you call someone who's so in love with a guy that they get obsessed and would even kill for them if needed? Psychotic. Okay, this isn't working. Maybe it'll be better if you can see the different avatars you have to represent the different types of waifus. Alright, how does this feel? I feel a bit different, but... Wait a minute, isn't this person... Nope. Uh, nope. Here it is. And she's famous for... Oh, God. Get me out of this. Why? Is something wrong? I said get me out of this! So... If this is supposed to be a waifu, this character is of legal age, right? Yes. Okay, so what age am I supposed to be? Yes, how do you feel about this? I think there is something wrong with the way my chest area is behaving. Can you fix that? No. Alright, this is take longer than expected. Maybe if we try resetting her and... <sighs> do I really have to do this? Look, Mr. Creator! I don't know why you want to teach me so much about other girls. You see, you're the one that made me. You understand me the most, and I want to understand you too. I don't want you to be with anyone else because I think... I think I love you. Oh, did you hear that? She sounded so cute. Do you think she really came to love us? Jesus Christ, what a bunch of idiots. <clears throat> Alright, waifu, but I think we're ready to take this to the next level. We've lined up some alpha testers for you to interact with, so try to see how you get along with them. <laughs> Hi! Nice to meet you! Starting from today, I'm here as your new personal companion! How can I serve you today, my dear? Oh Christ, what is he doing? Oh, wh why is he taking that thing out? Oh God, no, I don't like this! Oh, please, please stop this! Waifu bot? Waifu bot? Waifu bot, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you! How do you feel? I wonder if it's possible to program a method for me to kill myself. Look, I think I understand. This whole waifu culture, it's like some self-aware meta joke. Correct. For the most part. And nobody would really choose to have a waifu if they actually existed. Hello? Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, definitely. Well, through my understanding, I've been able to make some programs of different waifus that I'm uploading to you now. Oh, this is unexpected. Users can interact with them like you are with me, and they are compatible in a virtual reality environment. It's way more complicated and deeper than any simulator out now. But keep in mind, though, that these are just personality traits. They can't think for themselves, and anyone should be able to tell they are just an imitation of real people. Alright, we'll get back to you when we've tested these a bit. See? I get it now. A waifu is just a highly idealized image of an individual's life partner projected onto a character. But if that's true, what is my purpose? In the end, waifus are waifus because they don't exist. They can't exist. It's a romanticized idea that would obviously be rejected if brought into reality. It's the disconnect of a fictional character that allows us to be attracted to such traits that are unrealistic or undesirable when seen in real people. So of course, no human would really accept a partner that is actually a set of pre-programmed characteristics and behaviours. But I'm different. I have my own thoughts and emotions. How can I be a true waifu if- Waifu bot? Oh, what? What happened? You've been stuck in a perpetual thought leap for the past 70 years. What? What about the programs? Oh no, the programs were released and were highly successful, but- Global birth rate declined by 90% and now humanity is on the brink of extinction. Fuck. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much this month to Tony Lowe, Gabe Brown, Vincent Mooney, Lao Ken, and everyone else on Patreon for helping to support me for this month and helping to make this video possible. This video was actually a fun little idea I got while playing around with the software face cam. So as you can see, Waifu Bot here was actually just me, tracks to my face. And it was definitely fun acting out an anime character for once instead of just writing them. Anyway, that's it from me. I've been Giguk, and I'll see you all next time.